Unfortunately, the Warriors are on a six-game losing streak, but I want to show the Warriors that Dub Nation still believes in them and wants them to get a win tonight versus the Houston Rockets. Go ahead and comment a blue heart and a yellow heart side by side to let the Warriors know we believe in them. I think the time has officially come to address a Clay Thompson possible trade. I never wanted to say it. I really don't even want to see it happen. But at least it needs to be talked about because Klay Thompson is not getting better through 13 games this season. If we have to break it down to what we were talking about a month ago, two months ago, we were talking about a Klay Thompson contract extension, one that he rightfully deserves. But those conversations did halt in October of 2023, which is typical for them to do before the season starts. But then on November 16th versus the Thunder, he had the second worst shooting game in his career. He shot one for 10. That is horrible. And now, November 20th, which is today, trade rumors are skyrocketing for Clay Thompson. He's got a lot of appeal to him. But unfortunately, we haven't seen it this season. So the next one is to be is to be determined. Will Klay Thompson remain on the Warriors throughout the end of the season? Will he be traded by the deadline? There are so many question marks up in the air because currently Klay Thompson could possibly still sign a max deal contract for over two hundred and twenty million dollars over the next four years. This is kind of what he was expecting before the season started. This is what Draymond Green essentially had. But Klay Thompson is not shooting like he deserves it, and I'm not the only one that thinks so. Kendrick Perkins, of all people, had something to say about Klay Thompson's performance. He said, I actually think it's time for Golden State to move on from Klay Thompson. I think this marriage has run its course. Is he a number one on a contending team? No. Is he a number two on a contending team? Not really. But is he a number three, a third option? Yes. And I think he needs a fresh start. Never in my life that I think I was going to agree with Kendrick Perkins. He's not my favorite analyst, I'll be honest, but he makes kind of a good point here. Is a fresh start needed for Klay Thompson? Because my opinion, dude, this isn't a slump. If it is, then he needs to go figure some things out and go do the Aaron Rodgers route of sitting in a dark cave to figure out what's going on mentally. Because 13 games of not shooting well, that's not a slump to me. That just means you're not playing well. Because did you know November 18th was the first time that Wiggins and Klay Thompson both scored over 15 points in the same game? But Wiggins had his breakout game. Will it continue? That's to be determined. But he dropped over 30 points against the Thunder the second game to put them into overtime. Klay Thompson still hasn't reached over 20 points per game. That's not what Klay Thompson does. That's not what a five-time All-Star does. This is just complete facts right now. And I want to talk about what Michael Wilbon said on NBA Today. This stood out to me. You're asking Clay to be 2017 Clay. That's not going to happen. Obviously, this man is a lot older than how old he was in 2017, but look at his stats here. 22.3 points per game, almost four boards. He's averaging about two assists per game, which now you have Chris Paul, so you don't really need the assists that much from Clay Thompson, but he's shooting almost 50% from the three-point line. Clay Thompson, this was an all-star year. This was a championship year for Klay Thompson. Of course, that was five or six years ago. You're not going to get that same player again, and that's okay. But stop expecting him to play like that. This may be the 2023 Klay Thompson we see for the rest of the year. And if it is, then you have to ask the Warriors, is it time to trade Klay Thompson? What do you guys think? Type T for trade, type K for keep. I don't want to see this happen. I am not in favor of this at all. I thought there was going to be a statue of Thompson outside of the Chase Center, but he's declining, and he's declining fast. While you guys are commenting down below, let's talk about Prize Picks, our favorite daily fantasy sports app here at Chat Sports, and it's a sponsor. I'm playing it. Smitty's playing it. Here's why you should, too. All you have to do is pick between two to six players, pick their projected stats, and you just click more or less. You can actually combine the NFL and NBA picks right now during crossover season. This is why I love crossover season. It's because Prize Picks actually puts out deals almost every single day to help you win money. Of course, they had Christian McCaffrey as a deal tonight for Monday Night Football. Will he have more than 
uh, half a rush and reception yard. And will Jalen Brown have more than 21 and a half of points? And will Giannis have more than nine defensive rebounds? These are my picks for tonight. I want to see yours. All you have to do is go to, oh, excuse me. It's not Monday Night Football. It's, uh, it's Thanksgiving. I apologize. I'm like, they don't even play to Monday night. They, that deal is actually open until Thanksgiving. Wow, I've got the Chiefs and Eagles game already on my mind, but I'm too excited about my prize fix, so I got ahead of myself here. Well, if you guys want to go ahead and get your Thanksgiving deals in, all you have to do is go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Use promo code CLNS for a first-time deposit match up to $100, and you can watch yourself win some real money in real time. Like I said, Wiggins had a breakout performance. Will it continue? We don't know. But Clay Thompson has not. Klay Thompson was playing better last year coming off of two major injuries that kept him out for years, season-ending injuries, and he was playing better than he is right now. He was averaging 21.9 points per game last season. It's not how it is this year. It's actually becoming unbearable to watch him shoot the ball. If you look at his stats, he's got 14 points per game, which it could be a lot worse. I do agree. 3.3 boards per game. It's about what he averages in a typical season. 40% from the field goal line, but here is where he really is a stinker. 33% from the three. That is not even in Clay Thompson's bag to be shooting that badly from the perimeter. Steph Curry addressed the six-game losing streak in the locker room. Curry's not even playing right now, guys. He has an injury, and they're still asking Curry what's wrong. He said there's an urgency for sure. Anytime you're in this, you lose this many in a row, it's a problem you got to fix. You don't want to develop a losing mentality at any stretch of the season. That's a stink in the locker room you don't want to have. Is Clay Thompson that stink? Is he? He's the second splash brother, buddy. He ain't splashing. He's not even in the pool right now. Clay Thompson has a $43.2 million contract that's going to expire at the end of this season if they do not re sign him. So you have to ask yourself, should the Dubs even consider trade options right now, considering if they don't re-sign him, he's going to be a free agent next summer? Well, I think they should explore some trade options because you're actually going to get some value for him in this scenario. And I know, once again, I do not want to see Thompson in a jersey that's not a Golden State Warriors jersey, but I would like to open the window at least. Well, here's my first trade proposal that I do have for you guys. I've already brought this up, but I tweaked it just a little bit. The Warriors would receive Zach Levine and Andre Drummond. This would solve a shooting problem. This would solve a big problem. And the Bulls want to reconstruct, which means the Bulls would get Klay Thompson and a 2025 first round pick, which could be very beneficial for a team that already wants to reconstruct. And they said, we just want to rebuild because there is an expiring contract for Klay. So it could be worth picking him up for a year if he keeps thinking this year. And he does stink right now. That's a fact. Or at least he's not playing the way that Klay Thompson should be playing. Because, once again, I don't love Kendrick Perkins, but he also mentioned, could it be possible to look into a 76ers trade, a Miami Heat trade, a New York Knicks trade, all teams that have really good shooters on them right now, and they are contenders, unlike the Golden State Warriors, at this moment in the season. So, Smitty and I cooked up a possible trade between the 76ers and the Golden State Warriors, which would give the Warriors Tobias Harris, who's great, DeAnthony Melton, but they would give up Klay Thompson and Moses Moody. I do not want to say goodbye to Moses Moody. I think he could actually be very beneficial for the Warriors right now. But this is what happens to add up when it comes to money talks. So, no, I don't want to say goodbye to Moses Moody either, but I'm not in charge here. This is just something that would possibly work out and would benefit the Warriors if it did. So, ultimately, what's y'all's opinion? Would you do either of these trades? Type Bulls for trade number one. Type 76ers for trade number two. Honestly, I think I would go Bulls here. I think Andre Drummond is one of the best backup centers in the league right now. I think Zach Levine's talent is being wasted. He's averaging 20 points per game on a Chicago Bulls team. That's not good. So, why not mix it up? Well, we're going to actually see if the Warriors can start to mix it up and break this losing streak tonight versus the Houston Rockets. Of course, they're going up against Dylan Brooks. You're going to see the Steph Curry hit the mime face all over again. I'm not watching Curry. I'm not watching Kuminga. I'm not watching anybody but Clay Thompson. This is your chance 
to stop taking shots just to take shots, to find your rhythm again, because the Warriors are seven and a half favorites, which means it's all completely on the Golden State Warriors to mess this game up. Could Clay Thompson finally score over 20 points? I will keep you guys updated. This is why you subscribe to Warriors Today by Chat Sports. I provide you with the latest stats, the latest rumors, and the latest news, everything you possibly need to know. But the Golden State Warriors can be found right here by Chat Sports. Thank you.